Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surabhi Sharma. Here the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 14th of January. Indian Foreign Minister meets Uzbekistan counterpart in New Delhi. Nawaz Sharif's viral photo in London restaurant raises questions over his illness. And Afghan women defy challenges, seek opportunities through driving lessons. And now for all the details. Indian Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar on Tuesday met his Uzbekistan counterpart Abdullah Aziz Kamilov in capital New Delhi. Both the leaders held comprehensive talks on bilateral agenda aimed at bolstering ties. Indian Foreign Minister Subramaniam Jay Shankar on Tuesday met his Uzbekistan counterpart Abdul Aziz Kamilov in capital New Delhi and held talks to bolster ties. Kamilov is in India to attend Raisina Dialogue, a conference to discuss geopolitics and geoeconomics, hosted by India from January 14 to 16. Both the leaders held comprehensive talks on bilateral agenda, Jay Shankar tweeted after the meeting. Kamilov's trip comes ahead of the visit by Uzbek President Shavkat Mirziyoyev, who will be in India from January 18 to 20 to attend an investment summit in Gujarat, the home province of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. India's top court on Tuesday rejected curative petitions filed by two of the four convicts in the 2012 Delhi gang rape and murder case. A Delhi court had earlier this month issued death warrants against all the four convicts. India's Supreme Court rejected curative petitions filed by two of the four convicts in the 2012 Nirbhaya gang rape and murder case on Tuesday. The petitions were filed by Vinay Sharma and Mukesh Kumar, two of the four men currently on death row in the case of brutal gang rape and murder of Nirbhaya, a 23-year-old physiotherapy student in 2012 in Indian capital New Delhi. आज मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ा दिन है क्योंकि हमने 7 साल से मैं संघर्ष कर रही हूं आज के डेट तक कर रही हूं तो ये मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ा दिन है लेकिन सबसे बड़ा दिन 22 तारीख को होगा जब उन वो चारों फांसी पे लटकेंगे Earlier this month a New Delhi court had issued death warrant against the four convicts to be hanged on January 22nd In the last 2 years the Supreme Court had dismissed review pleas filed by the convicts paving the way for the execution the brutality of the crime in 2012 had jolted the nation's collective consciousness, triggering angry street protests. The case also prompted enactment of new tough laws against sexual violence. A fresh picture of Pakistan's ailing former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif at a London restaurant went viral on social media on Monday, raising speculations over his illness in Pakistan. A viral image of former Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in a London restaurant has led to speculations about his health and taunts from ministers in the Imran Khan government. Federal Science Minister Fawad Chaudhry uploaded the leaked photo on Twitter in which Sharif, sitting along with family members, appeared to be looking quite stable. His face is, however, not immediately visible in the picture. Making a satirical comment, Chaudhry said, in London's intensive care unit, the treatment against plundering is underway and all patients present are feeling better. On December 24, 2018, an accountability court had sentenced Nawaz Sharif to seven years in prison in the Al-Azizia steel mills corruption case. Sharif's health reportedly deteriorated in jail and he was diagnosed with cardiac ailment and an immune system disorder, after which he was allowed to leave for London for medical treatment in November last year. The former premier in an undertaking in the Lahore High Court had pledged to return to Pakistan citing his record to face the process of law and justice within four weeks or as soon as he is declared healthy and fit to travel. Moving on. 
Students of Karakoram International University in Gilgil, Baltistan have continued to raise their concerns over denial by authorities to reimburse their fees as per a 2011 government scheme. They have been staging regular protests for months now. Students of Karakoram International University in Gilgit, Baltistan have continued protests against the administration, demanding refund of their admission fees. In one such protest, the students claimed the government under a scholarship scheme in 2011 promised to reimburse their fees, but now the university administration has been apathetic to their plight. They alleged the administration, which operates on Pakistan's orders, is pressurizing the students to pay for their education, which was earlier kept free of cost under the 2011 scheme. Locals in Gilgit, Baltistan allege that Islamabad has always exploited people in the illegally occupied region. They claim Pakistan fears an education boom in the youth of Gilgit, Baltistan will be dangerous for their rule. The World Bank in its latest report has forecast Sri Lanka's economic growth at 3.3% for the year 2020, while growth in the South Asia region is expected to rise to 5.5%. The World Bank has forecast Sri Lanka's economic growth at 3.3% for 2020, saying the growth is likely to remain below 4% in next three years. In its latest report of World Bank's January 2020 global economic prospects, the World Bank said for 2021 and 2022, it maintains the same forecast of 3.7% of economic growth in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's growth had dipped below 3% last year, which is attributed to Easter terror attacks and policy uncertainty during the previous government. The island nation's new government, headed by President Gotabaya Rajpaksa, said recently that one of its targets include achieving a 6.5% economic growth per annum from 2020 and GDP growth of US$6,500 per capita. The report further said growth in the South Asia region is expected to rise to 5.5% in 2020, assuming a modest rebound in domestic demand and economic activity, benefiting from policy accommodation in India and Sri Lanka. Afghanistan has been witnessing war for almost four decades, which has brought a lot of damage to the country, especially in terms of gender inequality. In an effort to break stereotypes, women in the country are trying to learn driving as they believe it will give them a sense of independence and provide them livelihood. Afghan women wanting to break the gender stereotypes in the country have started making efforts to access their rights, including driving. Some of them confronting the social pressure have joined driving centers across the country which offer various driving programs launched by the Provincial Women Affairs Department in Afghanistan. Some women trainees think they will be able to achieve self-sufficiency after the training, while others wish to make the skill their profession. Uh, 
ادامه بتن با کارهایشان اما چالش ها هست اما نمیشه چالش ها را معانی رای خود به یرسه بدانه In the past 18 years, Afghanistan has made remarkable progress in terms of women's rights and women's status has improved dramatically in all areas. However, women in Afghanistan have a long way to go in order to overcome the current challenges. Indian Coast Guard welcomed Japan Coast Guard ship Achigo as it arrived in India's southern Chennai city on Monday for a five-day joint exercise between the two countries. Japanese Coast Guard ship Echigo arrived at the coasts of India's southern Chennai city on Monday to take part in a joint exercise with the Indian Coast Guard. Echigo was accorded a warm welcome by Indian Coast Guard, and school children holding flags of India and Japan were also present as the ship arrived. Indian and Japanese Coast Guard officials will take part in a five-day annual joint exercise, Sayo Kaijin. that will begin on Thursday to bolster defense ties and mutual understanding it is set to enhance interoperability in communication and search and rescue procedures and sharing of best practices eh to honkai junsen ichigo ga chennai ni airimashita no wa eh indo no coast guard to kaizoku taisaku no renkei kunren wo suru koto eh sore to indo coast guard to no 情報交換、あとその他には先ほど言いましたがスポーツ交流等々で、えー、インドコースガードとジャパンコースガードの交流を図る、えー、連携を図ることを目的としています。During the exercise, the two sides will participate in various activities, including ship visit, sporting, cultural, and professional interactions. The exercise is under the memorandum of cooperation signed between the coast guards of both the countries. in 2006 people across india on tuesday celebrated the harvest festival of makar sankranti by taking holy dips and kite flying the festival marks the termination of the winter season and the beginning of a new harvest season hindus on tuesday thronged india's temple town of varanasi to take a holy dip in river ganges to wash away their sins on the occasion of makar sankranti festival makar sankranti is one of the most auspicious day for the hindus which is celebrated in almost all parts of the country in various cultural forms with great devotion fervor and gaiety meanwhile sikhs also offered prayers and took holy dip at the famous golden temple the holiest sikh shrine in northern amritsar city on the occasion makar sankranti is celebrated as maghi in sikhism which is the first day of the month of magh the 11th month of the nanak shahi calendar which governs the activities within sikhism maghi is also a sikh day of commemoration of a battle and honors the martyrdom of the 40 mortals who died while protecting guru gobind singh the 10th sikh spiritual master क्योंकि आज गुरु गोबिंद सिंह जी ने 40 मुक्तों का बदावा फाड़ा था और मुक्तसर में बनाते हैं लेकिन अमृतसर आई हूँ मैं स्पेशल दिल्ली से मत्था टेकने स्नान किया मैंने कीर्तन सुना है बाबा जी का हुक्कनामा सुना है तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है मीन वाइल रेसिडेंट इन वेस्ट इन गुजरात प्रोविंस फ्लू काइट्स टू मार्क द फेस्टिविटीज एज द डे ब्रोक डिफरेंट कलर्ड काइट्स वे सिंह फ्लाइंग इन द स्काइस ऑफ अहमदाबाद सिटी एज पीपल एंजॉय द फेस्टिवल ऑन देयर टेरिसेस पूरे दिन में बच्चों के साथ पूरा मतलब पतंग पतंग चगाते हैं और दोपहर को खाना खाते हैं और फैमिली के साथ एंजॉय करते हैं द फेस्टिवल ऑफ मकर संक्रांति इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन अ फिक्स डेट दैट इज जनवरी 14 एवरी ईयर इट आल्सो मार्क्स द टर्मिनेशन ऑफ द विंटर सीजन एंड द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अ न्यू हार्वेस्ट सीजन वेल दैट्स द वेट विद इन साउथ एशिया दिस इवनिंग बिफोर वी कंक्लूड द टॉप स्टोरीज वंस अगेन Indian Foreign Minister meets Uzbekistan counterpart in New Delhi. Nawaz Sharif's viral photo in London restaurant raises questions over his illness. And Afghan women defy challenges, seek opportunities through driving lessons.
Now viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline. And follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.